This new drone can detect power lines, carry 13 pounds of payload, and it even works with the tethered battery system. It's the new DJI Matrice 400. So a ton of cool new features, so let's get into it. The new DJI Matrice 400 has more than double the payload capacity, going from six to 13 pounds. So if we take into consideration the Zenmuse V1 speaker, and the Zenmuse S1 Spotlight, that's only about three pounds. What's crazy is you get seven payloads that you can mount onto this thing compared to the three that you got in the Matrice 350. But one of the best payloads, at least for keeping your drone safe, is the millimeter wave radar with LiDAR that comes built in. That can prevent your drone from crashing into one of our worst nightmares, power lines. Yes, your drone may have 360 degrees of obstacle avoidance, but it likely can't detect things as small as a power line. Those can only be an inch in diameter sometimes. So that's huge for inspections. If you're using the new TB100C, it's a tethered battery that'll essentially give you unlimited flight time. The new tethered battery lets your drone go up 100 meters or 328 feet. Another interesting feature that's coming out with the M400 is the dynamic ship takeoff and landing feature. So this will be great for maritime inspections or rescues. As for the drone, you'll go from the O3 Enterprise Transmission System to the longer range, lower latency O4. What's really fascinating is the airborne relay video transmission for over mountain operations. So this is similar to what we saw in the DJI Dock 3, which involves using a second drone to act as a signal relay to extend the range of your missions. So that'll improve your range over obstacles like mountains or buildings. Compared to the Matrice 350 RTK, some of the specs are the same. So you still get that IP55 rating, and it can handle the same temperatures between negative four degrees Fahrenheit and 122. The max speed is 54 miles an hour, which is a bit faster than the M350 RTK's 51 miles per hour. So in terms of smart features, this drone has a ton because it's basically a flying supercomputer. You do get visual and thermal imaging model detection, so you can identify people and cars but also power lines and power poles with the Zenmuse L2 sensor. You'll also get real-time manual terrain follow, which means that the drone will adjust for the elevation in real-time. Fly to, which lets you select a point on the map and the drone automatically flies there. So it's great for inspections, emergency response, or search and rescue. It's also an optimized route for speed and safety, so it's not necessarily just a straight line. And the cruise function might not seem like that big of a deal, but for tedious repetitive tasks, it could mean less pilot fatigue and more consistency for mapping long pipelines, railways, or power lines. The M400 also has fusion positioning, which means rather than just relying on GPS, it combines different sensors to give a more accurate, precise location of where your drone is relative to its surroundings. So that'll be especially useful in situations like bridge inspections or anywhere where you get low GPS signal. If you wanna learn more about this drone, check out the link below in the description. And if you wanna stay up to date on the latest drones, don't forget to like and subscribe. 